Military Matters, Fort Hood's Grey Wolf Brigade, more than 3,000 soldiers strong, is getting ready to deploy back home. More than half gained combat experience. Looking back, the commander says it was a challenging deployment with diverse missions. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline sits down with the Grey Wolf commander at Camp Buring in Kuwait. Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan. Fort Hood soldiers used Abrams tanks like these to train with partner nations from across the Middle East. A busy nine months for Grey Wolf soldiers training side by side with forces from these countries in 12 training events to improve regional cooperation with allies, part of mission operation Spartan Shield. It sends a message to that other country, that other army, that um, we assure them that we're going to be there for them to help protect their sovereignty. And it's also a message to our adversaries. Now, once we went to these uh, other countries, it was a phenomenal experience to uh, operate uh, much like they would uh, in the box at NTC. They were fully expeditionary, uh, living off of their uh, tanks and Bradleys and uh, eating MREs for uh, several weeks at a time. Lieutenant Colonel McCarthy said his soldiers got a chance to grow as citizens of the world. For some soldiers in the brigade, training was just one part. Some headed into battle supporting Operation Inherent Resolve against ISIS. Combat advisor roles, field artillery support missions, and then directly advising uh, divisions in the Iraqi army. Specialist Daniel Rocket is one of them. What's so significant about his act of valor is that it was an Iraqi federal police officer that he was trying to rescue and save. So it's one thing um, to react and to show bravery for one of your own wingmen, but for another country to put your body and your life on the line. Despite the busy deployment with combat and training operations, Woodward gave soldiers a chance to take leave for big family events like births and graduations, a rare opportunity and a big morale boost for the troops. The feedback that I got was uh, tremendous. For many soldiers in Grey Wolf, it's their first time deployed and now their first return after a stint overseas. This was a tough deployment. It's like none of them I've ever been on. That's why seasoned soldiers and reintegration programs on Fort Hood are so important. There's going to be uh, soldiers going to come back, um, possibly with some financial hardship, some relationship hardships. Uh, but we have systems uh, that will help police our own. And Grey Wolf deploys home at a higher level of readiness than when they left earlier this year, according to the commander. On Camp Uring, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News.